The dust has settled on a historic election day, but the work is just beginning in Philadelphia. Sherelle Parker will take over in January as the city's 100th mayor. I'm Sheba Russell. I'm Jason Martinez, and she'll come into the job tasked largely with stemming a rising crime rate. And Jeff, the people of Philadelphia will be looking for Parker to address key issues from the get-go. No question about it, and crime certainly is at the top of the list. Jason, we actually met a Parker supporter today who spoke directly from the candidate's talking points on crime. This Parker supporter called for stop and frisk. On a crisp post-election morning in Maniunk, Sherelle Parker's victory and its impact on crime was front of mind. Stephanie Jones owns a small business. We need to hire more police. Um, I think we need, I personally think we need to stop and frisk again because I think it's too many guns on the street, too many illegal guns on the street. Parker leaned in to battling crime in her winning campaign for mayor. She spoke of police using a legal form of stop and frisk and amid her election night celebration issued a warning. You won't be able to go in the store and steal $499 worth of merchandise and just think that it's okay. We have to have a sense of order. Parker needs a top cop. Interim Police Commissioner John Stanford says he'd like the job. His top deputy, Frank Van Orr, says he'll serve the new team the best way he can, while the school district's chief of safety, Kevin Bethel, says he'll wait to see what happens now. An aggressive commissioner or one who knows the city and its people? You need a little bit of both. In Chinatown, Signs opposing the Sixers' proposed new arena are plastered on walls. Parker enjoyed the strong support of Labor, and a top official joined her on stage last night. Labor unions and the city's black clergy want the arena built. Parker says she needs to know more. Helping to move people out of poverty and, and that putting arena's, them well, on wouldn't the path that self-sufficiency. Wouldn't that arena That's, do just that? Well, listen, one, a mayor has to make sure that he or she is making the most informed decision. Arena opponents say they knocked on 30,000 doors and made 100,000 calls to elect new members to city council who see things as they do. We said no arena in Chinatown. We said, we told voters that the arena was on the ballot uh, this election, and we told them who to vote for, and they responded overwhelmingly. That arena is likely to come up, the proposal and approval of it early in Parker's term. And we get underway tomorrow morning as the mayor-elect introduces her transition team. Near City Hall on the Parkway, Jeff Cole, Fox 29 News. Folks. Thank you, Jeff.